Hey, I'm Chef Keith Snow. Welcome to another episode of Harvest Eating. Today I'm going to show you how to make a leek and Brussels sprout dressing. Up north you would call it a stuffing. This is going to be served alongside of a beautiful roast turkey. First thing to note, leeks are very dirty. They grow up through dirty soil and they need to be cleaned. So how I like to do it is split them in half and then run them under cold water and be very thorough to make sure all the dirt is off the leeks. Next here, I've got some Brussels sprouts. Feel free to use frozen Brussels sprouts in this application or fresh, your choice. And then here are some standard old Pennsylvania button mushrooms. Now before we cut the vegetables up, we're gonna take some fresh butter and some olive oil and get it into each one of our pans here and start the melting process. And let this heat up. And now we're gonna slice up our vegetables. First, we're gonna cut the leeks in half, get these all cut up, and then I'm gonna toss them in my pan. And then I'm gonna take the Brussels sprouts, cut those in half, and now toss those in the pan. Lastly, the button mushrooms are gonna be sliced up and then tossed into a separate skillet. Okay, now that I've got all the vegetables in the pan, let's get some initial seasoning on them. Salt and pepper on both piles here. And don't be concerned, it looks like there's a lot in there, but vegetables are mainly water, so they are gonna cook down significantly. Black pepper. All right, let's talk a little bit about bread. This is the bread that I bought from the store. Now, um, most people buy the box stuffing or dressing mix and it's uh, you know flavored bread. It's $3.50 for that stuff. A lot of preservatives and chemicals. Much easier to make it yourself. This is Italian bread. You could also buy what they call French bread. But the point is, get a loaf of this bread and it should be the kind of doughy, uh, soft bread. Then what we're gonna do is take a serrated knife and start cutting this into cubes. Now that we've got the bread pretty well broken down, what we're gonna do is take it all and put it into this bowl here. This is a clean bowl. Just pile your bread right in there. I've got my oven preheated to about 350 degrees. So after we get this into the bowl, we need to start seasoning it, because remember the, the breading mix that we're gonna replace from the box has a lot of seasoning. This is just plain bread. First, we're gonna start off with black pepper. And remember, there's a lot of bread in here, so don't be shy with your seasoning. Black pepper, some kosher salt. And lastly, what we have is melted butter. And this is one stick of melted butter that we're gonna pour onto this bread. Now let's take a little bit of olive oil as well just to get this nice and moistened up. And what you wanna do now is get in there and toss this around. And after your bread is pretty well combined with the oil and the butter, now we're gonna take Northern Italian seasoning. And this is sold in the Harvest Eating store. If you don't have this, any type of Italian seasoning is gonna work. This is a mix of rosemary, it's got some porcini mushrooms in there, some oregano and dried basil. Take this and distribute it evenly over your breading. Then I'm gonna mix this part through. Get this all worked in there. And incidentally, this is pretty much the same thing if you're uh, making croutons, the uh, practice is quite similar. So now that's in there, what we'll do is take a sheet pan that looks just like this and take your bread and dump it right out. You wanna have this in an even layer. Now into the preheated oven it goes. As you can see, the bread has come out of the oven and look at the beautiful golden color. It's got a nice golden color, slightly crispy. All those herbs have flavored it and the butter and the oil. This is beautiful now. 
much better than the stuff in the box. So what we want to do now is take a great big bowl like this and we need to start combining all these ingredients. Okay. We've got that in there. Let me put this aside. So now we're going to take our mushrooms and these have cooked down quite a bit and I want you to notice uh, I told you there's a lot of liquid in there. There's quite a bit of mushroom juice in here and that is a flavorful mushroom liquid. You definitely do not want to drain it. You want to get it into your, your dressing here. So we're going to start dumping everything on top. Okay, next up is going to be the leeks and the Brussels sprouts and you can see how much of that's cooked down. Okay, now we've got these ingredients in here. We're gonna to start to just combine this together. And one thing that is critical, remember you've got all this dry bread under here and there is not a lot of liquid in here. A dressing is very moist. It's not dry and it's not soupy. You've gotta have a, a correct balance. Now that we've got this combined, we're gonna add some liquid to it. Now for, for those of you at home, you could add a chicken broth, um, anything like that that's a, a nice flavorful liquid. What I'm going to do is add some of our giblet stock. We've got some giblets and some vegetables right here and these have been simmering for a while because we're going to use this to make a gravy later. We're going to use this liquid now to make our dressing moist. Okay, now that we have that in there. What we're going to do is just set this off to the side and remember this is for a Thanksgiving turkey. The classic herb, I've said it a million times, is sage. Very pungent and we want to have a very heavy sage component to this dressing. So we're going to take fresh sage and put it right in there now and then it goes in the oven. And remember I didn't put the sage in at the beginning so I want to retain as much of that flavor as possible. So just take your chef's knife and run right through it. Okay, now that we have that broken down quite finely, we're going to distribute this over the top, just like that, and now mix this through. And then we have one more critical thing to do before this goes in the oven. And don't miss this step, we need to taste this, because if this doesn't taste properly seasoned now, putting it in the oven isn't going to help it. So. Once it's tossed through and you've got the sage in there, we just need to take a quick taste test. And this is what makes the difference between a home cook and a professional cook, is tasting your food. So, we just grab a little breading like that. Wow, it's perfect, doesn't need a thing. And that's rare, usually it will need to be re-seasoned. So now let's take a dish and this is a pretty heavy, um, I guess this is a clay dish, nice heavy dish. And let's get our dressing into the dish. And it looks like I picked the perfect size dish because it fits in there just so. My last little step here is I'm going to take one more ladle full of this liquid and just distribute it over the top. And then I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And remember, all these uh, ingredients in here are already cooked, so what you're doing is bringing this up to temperature. And a little tip, if you wanted to make this ahead of time and take it out of the refrigerator, you can make it the day before, and then put it in when the turkey's about done, you'd be just fine. So off to the oven it goes. All right, it's been about 35 to 40 minutes and our leek and Brussels sprout dressing is golden brown and delicious. Try this next to your holiday turkey. The Harvest Eating Lifestyle with Chef Keith Snow promotes the use of locally grown and raised products cooked using seasonal methods all throughout the harvest season. Be sure to engage with us everywhere. On your TV via Roku, iPad or iPhone via the Harvest Eating app, on youtube.com, on facebook.com, and of course at harvesteating.com. Thanks for watching.